Hey everyone, welcome into my channel. Today is Friday. We're gonna head out to Goodwill Route 30 to do some thrifting. Now, this morning I got up and I said, oh, that big community-wide yard sale is happening today, about a half hour from the house. So I packed lunch, I charged my camera batteries, I was all set and I got there and the skies opened up and it poured. So there went that. So today we're gonna film at Goodwill Route 30. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're going thrifting. This video is gonna be a little different. Okay, probably a lot different because the wall has come down. See all that plastic, guys? The wall has come down in this Goodwill um, for them renovating and switching everything around. So we have clothing, buy hard goods, everything's all mixed up. But um, we're thrifting anyway. We are just making it happen. I don't know how much new inventory is coming out and there are a ton of shoppers. None of those things ever stop me, you know me. We love to thrift. Do we love to thrift? Yes, we do. All right, what is this? Just a little vase. It's probably a telefloral, right? Uh, Suma, Sumara International, whatever that means. Um, yes, yeah, so all of the hard goods are moving over to behind the plastic curtain. I'll bring you closer to that. That used to be the outlet, and now the outlet is moved, and they are clearing the shelves. So I don't know if they're just going to bring all of this stuff over there or if we're going to get all new stuff. I'm going to find out when that is happening. Darn, it's plastic. We always want a tiki mug that is ceramic. Just saying. I recently showed the green one I found and that one flew out the door. So um, hopefully I didn't underprice it. I'm not quite sure what was happening there. We have a gingerbread man. Is it a cookie jar? It looks like a cookie jar. Oh. He's stuck, his, ha his hat's stuck on. Oh, it's very heavy, $3.99. Interesting. I don't know what any of that means. I'm gonna put his hat back on. All right, I imagine that this is a gingerbread cookie jar. Hmm, do I want that? I'm not feeling it. You guys know how I feel about shipping cookie jars. I don't know what the aversion is, but unless they bring like a hundred million dollars, we're not shipping cookie jars. Our dolphin candles are still here. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants to burn a dolphin, which is a good thing. Oh, look at that big black basket. Hmm, $3.99. Oh, they're pricing everything low to get it to move, maybe. Ah, <gasps> could we be so lucky? What is this? Okay. Still looking for more black uh, photo frames for Roger's photo wall. Oh, look at these little shoes. Oh my gosh, they're little suede shoes, $4.99. <gasps> Leather upper made in USA. Do I need little tiny leather shoes? I feel like I do. Okay, so they're clearly marked, right, with the size. What is the brand? Let's see. What does that say? Foot? Hmm, can't read it. It's blurry. Is that my eyes? I think it's the printing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to run a comp on those. All right, and when you weren't looking... I was talking to a friend, so shout out to Holly. I found this Rugrats jacket. I thought this was kind of cool. We're gonna look that up. They want $5.50 for it. So we're putting that right in the cart. This is what's going on. They took the wall down. So on the other side of this plastic used to be the outlet or what we know as the bins. And that whole side is now gonna be hard goods. I don't know the square footage of that space, but it is massive. So this is great news for us resellers that sell hard goods and for people that just love hard goods, housewares, things like that. And the rest of the store where the hard goods normally are on that side is now gonna be more clean. 
clothing. So definitely really excited that the outlet is no longer here and we have more space for the retail side. Just gonna take a quick look. So I don't know how much I'll find today, but let's get going, let's take a look. This belt looks like good quality. Look at that buckle. That is really nice. I'm not sure what that stamp says on this side. Oh, this is Acker or Acre, San Diego, California. It's always a good sign when items are made in the United States. Leather belt. What do they want for this? Let's put it up here so we can turn this around. $4.99. It's in fairly good condition. Just checking it. A little bit of fading right there. I don't think that's going to hurt it. This should be a solid 30, so this is definitely going in the cart. The belt right behind it doesn't look as high quality. Still $4.99. Bianchi. Is that how to say that? Uh, looks like made in Mexico. You would think it would be leather. I'm unsure about that. But for $5, I'm going to grab that one too. Okay, truth be told, a friend just pointed this out. It is a depression glass, green glass, uranium bowl. They want $6.99 for it. It's a ribbed serving bowl, we're going to say. And if you hold it under a black light, it does glow. And how do I know that? Because she actually had her black light on her. She's so good. So thank you to my friend. I won't say her name. But um, yeah, that's a great find. And she didn't want it, so I took it. All right, we're going to throw that in the cart. We're also looking at this handbag. I don't think this is older, but I think it's lovely. And what do they want for this? It is just a little beaded $6.99. I'm wondering if it's silk or not. Uh, it says made in China, not a great sign. For $7 though, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. It's quite pretty. A pair of boots on the top shelf. Caterpillar. Oh, these are cat. These are work boots. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so these are women's boots. Kind of a Western style. They have that waxed linen look. They look to be new on the bottom. All right, so I don't know what job a woman would need steel toe western boots intentional distressing 17.99 but today is blue tag so what is that nine dollars mm, that's interesting i think i'm gonna grab these that is a good find we're gonna throw those in i don't pick up all rock ports but these are interesting nice leather shoe men's 13 dollars Vibram soles. I love a Vibram sole. That is a sign of quality right there. These are in really nice condition. I'm thinking I could probably get 40 to 50 for these. So those are going in the cart. Thought it was going to be a hard goods day and here I am in shoes. Oh. Harache sandal, all leather. Who is making this? Oh, this is born. There is the marking. Don't see a price on these. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's blue tag, half price. So those are gonna be $6.50. Those are definite, yes. You never know what you're gonna find in Goodwill. Best laid plans today and everything changes, but I'm okay with it. And Klein. All right. A lot of the shoes that I gravitate towards buying are the leather ones. Here's another pair of Borns. These are a Mary Jane. It's not a bad looking shoe. What do they want for them? $12.99. I think if they were blue tag, I would take them, but $13 for those is a little bit high. All right, so the cart is much different than what I thought I would be shopping for. We're going to keep going. Let's take a look at some other shoes. We're waiting for hard goods to come out. They do have employees putting hard goods out, even though the whole store is switching around. It's a whole craziness today. Oh, hold the phone. <laughs> Here are some topper curtains, kind of pretty. Very traditional. Mm, it feels a little bit cheaply made. Oh, they are Waverly, but didn't Waverly also make for Kmart, Walmart, somebody? I think that's what these are. All right, what do they want for them? Oh, $2.99. Okay, it's a set of two for $3. Do I want those? They do have a braided trim, which leads me to believe that they're not Kmart. 
Guys, leave a comment down below if Waverly curtains are sold in Kmart and if the tag looks like that, if it's just Waverly. I would think they would be like Waverly for Kmart or, you know, it would have a different name if I even know what I'm talking about. All right, for three bucks, I'm gonna grab these. They're really nice. And we're gonna put those in the cart. Here is a pair of On Clouds. I have never picked these up before. So I don't know if these are faked or not. The bottom seems kind of plasticky, but they are very heavily branded and the quality is there. Swiss engineering, I guess these are real. Makes me a little bit nervous. Here is the tag. So you guys leave a comment down below if you recognize these as the genuine sneaker. They want $9.99 for them. I imagine these are going to bring like maybe $30 to $35. So not a high profit margin, but they're in really nice shape. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the cart. It'll give me an opportunity to research them too. Yeah, lots of branding on them. So that's a good sign. All right, these are going in the cart. So I have one two three four i think i have four or five pairs of shoes all right let's keep going oh this is vintage york wall covering fine wallpaper it's a double roll and blue is the color tag right guys so this will be half price 250. i see there are three rolls in the bottom grabbing those it's like a blue tartan gingham check plaid <laughs> And then there's a roll here. This one seems to have some schmutz in it. That almost looks like wax, like candle wax. Yeah, or some kind of plastic. Don't know whether I should get this one or not because including this in the sale mm, might kind of give a negative connotation to the sale. Like somebody will start to wonder about the paper. I think I'm going to leave the fourth one behind. That might be a mistake. Oh, this one's $3.99. $1.50. I could cut it open and sell it as a partial roll with these three rolls. All right, so that's a good deal. So $7.50 and $1.50, $9 for the four rolls. That's an absolute yes. This is what it looks like. York and this is vintage. Hopefully the next time I come in the store, everything will be changed around and we will have a whole new big space for hard goods. Very excited for that. Here is another episode of High Profit Thrift Finds. I love sharing with you guys what items bring a very good profit. These are items that other people are usually passing by, and for some reason, my intuition tells me to grab it. The first item is an American Indian woven round basket, $66, and I believe I paid a couple of dollars. Next item is an overcoat that took quite a while to sell, but I recognize the cashmere by feel, $59.40 and I paid $5. Next up, I just picked these up in a yard sale. I got nine of them. So here are the first four, $88, and I paid $10 for the nine of them. So still a little bit of profit to be made after this sale. Next up is a Fire King bowl. I knew it because it said Fire King on the bottom, $44. And to tell you the truth, I don't remember what I paid, but it wasn't much. Here is a picture of the bottom so you guys can recognize Fire King's signature if you don't already know it. This next item is in a group of items. I picked these up at the flea market. I paid $40 for six of them and even one or two of them would make back my cost. So the rest is pure profit. I believe altogether they sold for about $260 to different buyers. So the first one $47.99 the next one $43.99. Here is one again $43.99. Look how adorable these are. I knew nothing about the artist Sam Toft, but she is just wonderful. I had a great time researching her work. Here is another one for $40. These are all solds. Another one $40. Adorable. I think this one was the first to sell. And here is one of her dancing with a striped cat, $40. So those are um, all a lot that I bought for $40.
Here is a little set that came on an auction tray. These were not even what I was bidding on, $71.40, and I think I paid $7 for the whole tray. This is the lampshade I recently found in the yard sale day on Memorial Day, uh, $42, and I think I paid $2. Here is that glass sculpture. I did try to do research. You guys tried to take guesses of whether it was like rose quartz or glass or lucite. I just listed it as glass. It did sell auction. I put it on auction because they didn't know what it would be worth, and it brought $100. Here is a group of glass knobs. Again, this was in an auction find, not what I was bidding on. And to tell you the truth, I hadn't seen this beforehand. We got there a little bit late and I just saw that it was going for like three or four dollars for the whole tray, 52.80. Next stop is an outfit or a set. I always pick these up if they're in good condition. Doesn't really matter the brand to me, but Coldwater Creek is a good, strong brand to look for these kinds of cocktail evening sets. Brought $110, and I believe I paid $8. Next up, look at these gorgeous pictures. I proclaimed one of my favorite finds this year, and still I stand by that, $99.50. These are Adirondack Black Forest framed prints. Here is a brand that I didn't know too much about. I loved this Aztec print. This was new with tags, $55, and I paid $4.99. Here is a St. John set. I did uh, gently wash this and block dry it, mean laying it flat. I did not hang this because it's a knit and it would stretch out, $121.50. And here is the carved little collapsible wool shelf, $44. I found this in a thrift store when Roger and I had just stepped in the door and I immediately fell in love with it. I love these, they're just beautiful. I believe they're pretty much carved in India. Here is a set of sneakers, or I should say a pair of sneakers, no bull, and they were in, I'm gonna say, new condition, but I don't think I listed them as new, $82.50, and I believe I paid $8. Here is a belt. I did capture this in video. This is vintage Burberry's. You can tell by the label of how Burberry's name is printed, and uh, $60.50 for one belt. What did I pay for this? I'm gonna say three or four dollars. Here is a set of Bowl and Branch uh, pillow shams. My girlfriend, Lindsay, who I met in Goodwill, taught me about Bowl and Branch. I didn't know about this company till a few years ago, $64.50. They were three European size pillow shams. And what did I pay for these? I'm gonna say around the five to eight dollar mark. Coming into the home stretch now. You're reading the directions? <laughs> no, I'm just seeing how long I have to read. Oh, between the last coat? In one hour. Oh, that's not bad. I uh, know. To touch and recoat four hours. Four hours. Ah, that's just exaggerating. Yeah, I think. Roger is working on window sills. It's his favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> I think one hour is more appropriate. <laughs> Like what are those paint people? It's Look at you, you taped off and everything. Yeah, I'll have it all over if I don't. Really? Yeah. You're a good painter. I'm not a good painter. Tape job's not the greatest either, <laughs> <laughs> but it works. We are almost done painting. This can has you build been. A cabinet? Yes, you can. Yeah, you're going to build the cabinets above the washer and dryer, right? Yeah. We'll put up yeah. shelves or whatever? Yeah, probably shelves. Yeah, we have to build the closets first. So guys, if you remember, within our contractor's price, we have the closet systems, but they're wire. And we don't want wire systems in these closets. So it looks like we're gonna be building the shelves in here and the um, just the pole. You know, we'll just get a simple pole from, from Home Depot, but this is what we're looking like. We have our heat thing in. We have all of our lighting in. What else do we need to buy, babe? Curtains. Curtains. <laughs> the man cares about privacy. So do I. All right, so. Curtains, and we ordered the rug for the floor. We're gonna see how it is. I fell in love with it, and it went 75% off. So I will include a screenshot here. 
of what the rug is looking like. We're going to get that Friday. And it looks like move-in date is July 30th. I think the, I think the um, what is that called? The inspector comes July 27th, final inspection. We still need siding on the outside. Here is where I am working today. Let me see if I can get back here. All right, so I am painting the primer and the paint up there. We couldn't do that because the plumber was installing the, not the plumber, the tiler was installing the tile. So this little part got left to the end. All right, I'm going back up on my ladder. Hit that like and subscribe button, if for nothing else, for all of our effort in having an addition built. Go out and get what's yours.